Hello, welcome to Dancy Soul Three Nine Three. The Grass Island of Hong Kong, Part One: An Island Away from the Hustle. The island we want to sketch and paint on is a lesser known island called Grass Island. This island is not far from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, where Daniel did two years of research work when he was in the field work phase of his doctoral research, and returned to Hong Kong from the UK to do field work for his dissertation. The island is almost at the easternmost tip of Hong Kong. Near the country park in the eastern Saigon, and has an area of 1.69 square kilometers. This outlying island north of Saigon, with its green grass, blue sea, blue sky, and fishermen's culture, allowed Daniel to get away from the hustle and bustle and relax his mind after his busy research work at that time. Because of the remote location, not many ferries traveled there every day, so the number of people going there was quite small. At that time, Daniel, every time he came here, can really feel the unique destination of the island. But no lack of beautiful scenery, the mood is particularly soothing. We took the ferry from Maywa to Central early in the morning, took the MTR to Kowloon Town Station, then transferred to Guangtang Line, went to Diamond Hill, got out of the MTR station, and took the 92 bus to the Saigon Terminus. The Saigon Pier shows a blue wheel in the sunlight. We transfer to bus number 94 to Wan Shake Pier. The morning at Yellowstone Pier was very beautiful. We were enchanted by the sailboats on the sea and the seagulls flying in the sky. We took the ferry from Yellowstone Pier to the island. In addition to the ferry, there were private motorboats between Yellowstone Pier and the island, which Daniel used to take at that time. Without a schedule and a boat with about twenty people, we took the ferry to the island. The ferry stirred up a thousand waves, snowy white waves, at the side of the boat. The island is an island located in the northeast of Hong Kong, and its English name is Grass Island. When the ferry reached the small pier on the island, we saw that there were not many fishermen and houses on the island, and the white clouds, green grass, and sea breeze were displayed before us. The island is small but clearly marked it with roots. Hong Kong has really done a good job in this regard. Sometimes, even when we arrived at an unfamiliar place, even if no one asked for directions, there were clear directional signs to make sure we didn't get lost. If we wanted to describe the island in one word. It would be paradise. The island is so beautiful that it can only be portrayed as the Garden of Eden. Because of the island is so small, it was not too much effort to walk around the island. We could enjoy the scenery as we walked. The weather that day was not particularly good. It was cloudy. And the clouds were quite thick and low, but in such weather, it was very cool. During our walk, there was a small breeze blowing across the mountain pass. It was comfortable without the scorching sun. 
The grass on the island was growing laterally, but it looked very neat and more like artificial vegetation. The island was also a paradise for cattle. Cattle were everywhere on the grass. The cattle on the island, like those in May War, were gentle and not afraid of people at all. When we were intoxicated with the beauty of painting, they may quietly approach us. Some of them laid down to rest. Some ate grass, and some walked on the grass. Even if we leaned very close to draw them, they wore a relaxed look. We enjoyed the beautiful scenery in the sea, wheeling pavilion on the hillside, and taking a short break to paint on the grass. Then we continued to walk along the mountain pass. And soon we saw two square rocks stacked up and down on the shore, about six meters high, standing miraculously. The piled rocks looked like a pagoda from a distance, and together with the pagoda gate cave nearby, the whole looked like a door to the sea. So the ancients called this island the Buddha Pagoda Gate.